and good morning all uh, everybody youtube how you doing okay so before i get into what the headline is on how did i lower my international pro star gotta thank uh i got a, a big shout out first of all to a couple a uh, team couple that i met over in uh, bakersfield a couple that yesterday day before uh shannon and russell really cool people thank you so much for coming up and what a great conversation good luck to you guys and uh and prospering your adventure all that good stuff so just wanted to send a simple shout out to that so um and i'm back to the containers because my trailer is jacked up right now it got rejected for a load yesterday in modesto which sucked but nonetheless still making some money doing all right so but all right let's get into this i'll uh I'll see if I can't flip you guys around and do the uh, video correctly so I can show you how to how I lowered the Pro Star. So let's do this. All right, so What we did was there used to be a three inch block right here. Actually, the block is tapered factory. So it comes like a, one side's three and a quarter inches. The other side's like three inches. Some like the three and three eighths, whatever. It's, it's, it's tapered to, to put the pinion angle correctly from the front to the rear for the all the angled up and everything. So anyway, we took the U-bolts off. We used um, frame jacks to place underneath the, un, I think we used them, they were air jacks that used underneath they went underneath the axle, and we did each one side on each. We did one side each. We didn't do both at the same time. That way, they would fit right and everything. Um, so basically, we ordered new bolts, and if you see the bolts here, uh, they're not. They're kind of tapered at to the top a little bit. We got them from a company called Betts, B E T T S, belts and hoses. They're out of Fontana. You can check them out online as well. Those are my factory shocks, and the International uses. It's because it sits up so high for internationals, it typically has a lot of travel in that shock, so you're able to use the stock ones without, you know, ordering like special car hauler ones that I keep hearing about. This side has the max lines, which I'm gonna change out here pretty soon anyway. So you can see right here how we did it as well. Same scenario. So the shorter bolts come from Betts, they are $50, I think, last time I checked. For the whole set, you get all, you get all four bolts and the nuts and everything and uh and then you just any mechanic should be able to do it so it's pretty easy to uh to lower them really it's not that big of a deal you know basically it's no different as if they had to replace the spring they'd be unbolting it all and putting it back together anyway just this time without the block so <clears throat> and then over here on the rear by bending the rod here i took my hands in the middle of that rod or towards kind of towards the edge like right here and then down at the bottom there, I took both hands, got a good grip, and then just kind of kept putting a bend in it. Then I would come back up here while the while the truck is aired up, and you would notice it would come down because this piece right here used to sit up about right here. So again, the international sits real high, and it was really raked. Like the front end was so low, and the back was so high it looked stupid. So that's why we did that. Same again with the factory shocks. Nothing special. A lot of travel. So two inches, really, about two inches what it came down in the rear, just to kind of level it out for the U-joints and uh, the drive shaft. So basically, the truck doesn't even know that it's um, it's been lowered. It pretty much just rides stock. So uh, a lot of guys are, oh, yeah, it's a lowered truck. How's it going to ride stock? Well, does any truck ride good, whether it's stock or not? So personal opinion. But that's pretty much how we did it. I'm gonna go into more detail. We're gonna get Mike's Cascadia from CRST. We'll show you, we'll get both of them together, get them all cleaned up. Just wanted to do a quick one because a lot of you guys are asking. Appreciate the comments too as well. Even on the hated ones about my messed up beard, how it grows funny. Still can't figure that one out. Hey, I'm not into guys, but if, you, if the guy that commented on that is, it, more power to him, man, but it ain't me. So that's the lowdown on the low star. You guys have a good day. Be safe out there. And uh, thanks again for watching. Again, look for that video while I'll bring a part two to this, uh, how do we lower our plastic trucks? Uh, as soon as I get with Mikey, we'll do that for you guys, all right? Take care, thanks a lot, have fun.